Hi guys, so today I'm going to make some cupcakes in my George Foreman Evolve Grill. And I'm preheating it for 8 minutes. So I had it on 8 minutes and then it'll beep once it's preheated. And I'm also going to show you how I um, prepare this cake mix because my cousin taught me a little trick that makes it really moist. And um, so I wanted to just show you that. It is John's birthday and it's also St. Patrick's Day. So I got this green frosting and I'm just going to make six cupcakes because we have like cheesecake and we have other stuff. But I just wanted to bake him something and then I'm going to save the rest of the of the cake mix to make a little cake because we're going to his mom's house on the weekend to celebrate. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of uh, a little trick that I do when I make cake mix thanks to my cousin. So okay so the box calls for one cup of water i always use milk instead of water but what my cousin told me is and i did this already once and it's good use less water and more oil so i'm using less than a cup of water milk because i use milk instead of water two eggs instead of three and then it calls for half a cup of oil and i'm using um, a little bit more than that three-fourths and then one big spoon of sour cream and I love this sour cream I've never seen it like this where you can squeeze it in um, I'm a, a sucker for these kind of things so I'm gonna mix all of that into the uh, cake mix okay so last time I filled these up a little too much and the tops got a little not burnt but they were brown because of the top of the grill so make sure you don't fill them up too much I'm I don't even know if this is good or if I should have put a little less but we'll see um normally you have to fill them up about halfway so this is all hot and preheated and of course because of my radio this doesn't stay up hold on I forgot trouble but I'm doing this with my hand okay so then in there and then I'm gonna put it for 25 minutes I can't remember exactly how much I put it last time but I'm, I feel like it's 25 minutes oh okay you can only put it for 20 minutes so after 20 minutes I will um check it and see if it needs more time so uh I'll let okay, you so this just beeped and what i said was gonna happen happened because i checked it a few seconds ago you see how the tops of those the front ones were fine so just see how much you fill them it's not a big deal i'm putting frosting over it it's not gonna taste bad but just so you know let's see if they're ready and yep it's clean so they're definitely ready. So 20 minutes. If you prep it on 350 for 8 minutes and then cook it for 20 minutes. And I didn't put this part in until... Oh, this is pretty hot. So make sure you don't touch that with your fingers. Until um, I went to cook it. So I don't know if you could preheat it, I guess, with this in it. And then put the things. I don't know, however. But I'm going to let them cool and then... Cook.